Hello! Welcome to today's video. Today we're working on Alina and Nori from Mermaidia for Meme. And uh, yes, this is going up after Meme has ended. I had this um, big commission that was out of my comfort zone, but I actually managed to finish it and I'm really happy with how it went. Like, really good. So now that that's um, done, I had delayed this one a little bit, um, but I still managed to get it done in a week and a half, which is really fast for me. I couldn't believe it. And I'm really happy with how it came out, so it was definitely worth it. Um, worth it. Uh, definitely not rushed in the end, even though I was doing it on time. Counting these two for Pride Month as well, uh, because they're gorgeous sapphics. And, you know, if I'm only going to catch the tail end of Mermaid, ahaha, <laughs> sorry, had to. Um, I have actually drawn these two for Mermaid before. Back in 2020, I drew like a colored pencil version of Nori and a marker illustration of Alina. And I must say, I was so proud of that Alina drawing for so long. I think it came out really well. And I <laughs> feel like the same thing's gonna happen with this one, because I can't, be can't believe how well it came out. I must say, um, Amedia was my favorite Barbie movie growing up for a really long time. I lo always loved the mermaid designs and like the back, like the uh, environment designs and that sort of thing. Um, and you know, what kid doesn't love mermaids and fairies? I also definitely had a crush on Nori. I might not have realized it yet, but I definitely did. Um, and their like relationship to each other is just so much more fun. Um, Alina is so much more interesting in Mermaidia than in her other two films. Um, and I feel like most of the characters like Barbie plays aren't nearly as interesting as they could be just when they're not with a rival. Um, cause like, especially in this movie, Alina is so competitive. She's like sarcastic. She's a little, not mean, but you know, kind of heading that way. And that's what you want. You want a character with a personality. Cause in, I think I've already said this, she's a dry protagonist otherwise. Um, and it's especially great when she has that rival because like you get the good sapphic content, which I just said again, but like, I'm also thinking of um, in a mermaid tale with Melia and Kylie, and in a fairy secret with um, Raquel and Barbie. Like, just every time it's perfect. The only exception is Diamond Castle, where they're just an old married couple. I love them so much. So, like, instead of that, you know, first meeting, like, don't get along, like, rivals to lovers, the classic, um, or that delicious pining. Not that I think, well, Raquel, yeah. Yeah, Raquel. But uh, Diamond Castle, they're just so gorgeous. Speaking of which, I do plan on drawing Diamond Castle fan art at some point. Not sure when, but it's definitely gonna happen. Um, I wanna draw them in like the cute little cottage because I think that'll be so much fun. Um, but if you hadn't noticed, I do take a while to circle back to fandoms. Um, I did do another Monster High <laughs> drawing like a uh, video, um, which was my last upload, but that was a, uh, that took a while to get back to. <laughs> and uh, Arcane is also one that I said I would get back to quickly and I haven't even thought of something new to do yet. So <laughs> I do definitely still want to, don't you worry. Also, um, currently I am changing the background. I realized that the cliff face that I had before was really flattening the like picture. Um, so I decided to change the background, um, which I'm actually really happy that I did because in the past I would often take the lazy way out and just be like, oh, I'll just improve my next drawing. But I think there's a lot of improvement to be had if you like work a drawing till you get there. Later on, I also realized that Alina's wings are blocking my favorite parts of this current background. So you see the rocks and the waterfall. I haven't done the wings yet, but when I do, I <laughs> do eventually realize. And um, I ended up shifting the whole background so that they could, would all be seen, which I'm really glad I did, because again, you've got to do the work to make it work. <laughs> um, and I definitely think my backgrounds are a lot better for it. I learned a lot doing this. I've tried to do like cliff faces and things like this before, and it's never worked out. I've never known quite how to approach it. And I feel like this year, I don't, I'm not like doing studies or anything, so I don't know how I'm getting the idea of how to do it. I think just somehow trying to work it out is a good way of learning. 
learning from references is also better, um, but the likelihood that I will sit down and study a reference is extremely low, and I'm, you could say I'm a bad artist for it. I, I feel like a lot of people agree or disagree, there's like a whole fight over it, but like, references are good. If you need a reference to do your art, do it. I need references. My problem is that I don't look at them because I don't like I said it before, effort's a big issue with me and art. But anyway, like I said before, I am really happy with how this came out. Um, I'm really happy with how much I pushed myself to make that background work. And the background actually took a lot longer than Alina and Nori themselves, I think. I didn't really struggle with them. I thought I would because I haven't really drawn a lot of poses like these. Um, Alina sitting down, I've definitely drawn characters sitting down before, but like getting that angle right, I wasn't expecting to work out so well. I mean, you could say it's still probably not correct, but I can't see the mistakes yet, so let me lift this. Um, I feel like I had another piece planned for Pride Month, which I've since decided will not happen. I am sorry, it will be drawn at some point, but it was another head and lap kind of romance, and I must say, like romantic piece, the epitome of romance for me. It's just falling asleep in someone's lap. Like, genuinely, my love language is sleeping on you. I don't know, I just really like naps. I just think they're great. And, yeah. <laughs> I think that all translate into a lot of romantic art I do. I don't know how romantic you can say it is, but whatever. And if you like this um, piece, it is up on my Redbubble. The link to my Redbubble shop is down below in the description. Um, boom. <laughs> I will mention, I am planning, well not really planning, I do want to draw more of these two. They'll be, probably be in the sapphic sketch with me, not gonna lie, but also like like another full piece, maybe next mermaid, maybe I'll just draw these two again. But you know that scene where Nori pulls Alina free from the plants like after Alina's just saved her and they do like that gorgeous arc? I really want to draw that, but I'm not sure if I'll do like a screen cap redraw or like I don't know, mess with it and make it a different idea. I don't really know. But I want something around that. I was thinking of doing that for this, but ended up not because, I don't know, I had a lot of different vague ideas. I never really know what to do with something, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, I wanna draw these two, but what do I draw them doing? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I do think that's why like some of my art comes across pretty stagnant and stilted at times. It's because like I, I know I want to draw characters and things but I never quite know what I want to do with them. Um, I think that's why I'm excited to do comics because I feel like that's a lot less stressful. I'm less a single image, <laughs> we could say writer or a story creator and more of a like a God, it's a nine volume series and you have just committed to something you didn't realize was going to be that long. Um, I'm joking, but I'm also not. I also kind of want to draw like the fury spheres breaking in in a, uh, in a fairy secret. So like maybe this is just the beginning of a lot of Barbie fan art, but we'll we'll see how, how it goes. Um, oh, throwing this at the end because I forgot. Thank you for um, all the support with the previous video. It was really, really long and I'm very surprised by how well it did. So thank you very much for sitting through that, if you did. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a lovely day, a happy week and an excellent month. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Uh, bye.